a full dedicated video on these because I think it needs one. The try on, the size guide, the comfort. Hey everyone, Tiffany here. Welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, then welcome. Today we are doing a full dedicated video on the Hermes Chipre Ship Chiper sandal. I've literally heard these being pronounced in so many different ways. I'm pretty sure it's Chiper. Anyway, let's get into the video. Also, I've been posting on TikTok, so if you aren't following me on there yet, it might be something you want to check out. I have these in the leather, in the woman's sizing. I've heard different things, and the consensus seems to be if you are getting the leather, then go at least a half size to a full size up from your true to size. Some people have said that they got their true to size in the leather and the shearling. And then I saw someone say that they sized down one whole size. So your girl here was a little confused, and that's why we're doing this video to hopefully help you guys figure out what size you might be and I personally ended up getting true to size which is a 35 and a half. I think it's also important to show you guys how these fit on my feet and why I went with the size that I did. Part of it will be based on your personal preference but also how your feet are shaped. If you've seen my past shoe videos or shoe try on videos you'll know that it's skinny but also kind of wide on the toe joint area but I have a really flat arch so it's skinny flat and slightly on the wider side so here's the comparison between the 35 and a half 36 and also the 36 and a half the difference in length you guys is really minimal specifically for the 36 and 36 and a half and visually you can barely tell the difference these are the measurements for the inner sole after the edge and extended as far out to the back just before it curves up. They're roughly an eighth of an inch difference when I measure these. Where I do notice the difference though is actually with the width, the height of the front strap, and the weight of these. The 35 and a halves just felt like they stayed on my foot better because when I tried on the 36, I did feel like my toes were trying to grip onto the shoes a little bit while I walked. So lengthwise, I think the 36 would have actually been perfect for me. However, the 36 was really loose around the front part here. There was just a lot of space this way and I felt like my foot was just kind of flopping everywhere. So this is where your preference or foot shape can come into play. The style of these are cut a bit wider to begin with, so the width of these were perfect for me. There's still some extra room to give even on the 35 and a half, when typically a 35 and a half in Euro sizing tends to be on the snug side for me width-wise. So if you have a narrow foot in general, I don't know if these will fit the way you want them to, but if you have a slightly wide to wider foot, then I think it'll fill out the space nicely. I will say though, with the 35 and a half, my toes do sometimes touch the edge of the front, but honestly, that doesn't really bother me at all. I'll also leave some other references on other shoes and sizing so you guys can have a better idea. Another thing is, although there is a Velcro strap and theoretically you can tighten or loosen it, you can't really tighten or loosen it that much because the Velcro portion will get in the way and you can't really pull beyond that part. I mean, you could, but you're not going to want to because you'll be folding over that Velcro. You might have at most maybe half an inch to tighten or loosen. Even at its tightest, it's not that tight. Let's talk a bit about the comfort. I've heard people talk about the inside where there it's stitching and some people have reported that it irritates and rubs their feet. For me, not an issue because where that stitching is, it falls off to the side of my foot. Like I said, I have a shallow arch and it doesn't actually fill out that gap, so maybe that works out in my favor. The sole is sturdy, a little on the stiffer side, but fully what you would expect. It does provide support as well. I haven't had these long enough to really test them out because I really wanted to get this video up for you if you're looking into getting these. This is the time to get them. When the summer comes around, it might be a little more difficult to get your hands on. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.